Mac used to call me out, but didn't even have the balls to say my name. And I don't blame him because he's putting his zero years to my five years of education. Because I'm here to make fitness great again, I'm holding people accountable. The main purpose of the belt is to increase your intra-abdominal pressure. Yes, the belt increases intra-abdominal pressure, but the abs do that too. Because you use the belt for essentially every single exercise, you're losing opportunities to train your abs. This leads to your abs not getting enough training stimulus to develop optimally. The increase in pressure will allow you to breathe much more effectively throughout the entire rep, making the target muscle much closer to failure. This is your go-to excuse for using a belt. The reason why you need a belt to take muscles to failure is because of your terrible training throughout the years. The reason why your core is a limiting factor is because the belt is doing all the work for you. You choose terrible exercises that don't even involve the core and you use a belt for literally everything. I use a belt so rarely that I don't even own one, which has allowed my core to develop gradually throughout the years to where I don't even need one. But you don't just wear a belt for exercises that look fine. Another example of a bodybuilder completely making something up. A weight belt is not necessary for exercises that do not directly load the low back. Oh,